Hi guys, I am Bex from Trista Bites. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications of when new videos go up. I was lucky enough at MCM Comic Con to get to meet and ask questions of the cast of Red Dwarf. So let's see how that went. There's all these recording devices. I know, this looks... This... Yeah, no pressure. Oh God, I've got to say something so marginally interesting. Mourinho. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking Mourinho, but I just saw him the other day with lots of microphones in front of him. But we're not going to talk about football. No. <laughs> and we've lost Dan. Ha, that is brilliant. He was with me a second ago and we've lost him. That is classic Danny John Jules. The most common years. phrase on the set of Red Dwarf is, where's Danny? <laughs> <laughs> Are there any stories he wouldn't want you to tell that you'd like to tell before he gets here? <laughs> no, no, we're very happy to tell them when he's here because he'll, he'll then verify that they're all true. <laughs> How long have you got? <laughs> we can make more time. <laughs> Lens is lens galore, it's a lens feast. It is. <laughs> it's a lens and mic feast. And of course, they're all so advanced these days. Well, they're aren't very, they? these very, young very people, advanced, they know all yes. about this sort of thing. Lots of cables and wireless. We're probably going out routines. live on Periscope or <laughs> Snapchat. There's, there's a fizz of electromagnetism, sort of. <laughs> Apparently, there's someone always has to be fashionably late. <laughs> And you're prepared to adopt that tough role, Dan? I am, I am the Mayweather <laughs> of sci-fi. <laughs> well, I've even been got a baseball it. cap on. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's wonderful to have you back together again here at Comic-Con. It's also always wonderful to have you back together again on our screens. Um, can you talk a little bit about this latest season and, again, after so many years, what it feels like to still have the privilege of getting to do this? <laughs> It is a privilege. That's it, I think the word, that is the word. Oh, then here's Hattie. <laughs> well, some of us have to put our lipstick on. <laughs> like, Danny, is that what you like? I, 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 I seem to have no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that fake beard. Yes, but there's a big queue in the ladies, you see. In the, in the men's, the, the mirrors are always free. Can you remember the question? Yes. Oh, God. It's about privilege and privilege. us being together again and... That privilege. And it is a privilege, it actually, is. because the, Doug's scripts are as strong as ever. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's taking us into some very interesting areas. Um, and some of the guest performances on, on this show, mm -hmm. to me, 12 is the show of great guest performances, uh -huh. you know, and it's, uh, you know, it, it, it just it beggars belief, actually, some of the, the talent out there. And you, in many ways, because we've been doing the show for so long in the same, mm. with the same chemistry and everything. When someone comes in and does this fantastic, you know, cameo plus, yeah. it's a joy to see, you know, as Ryan Gage, for example, in, in episode one. Oh, yeah. Man. And uh, the great Johnny Vegas. And uh, watching his performance unfold uh, in the episode the other week was, was great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 30 years now, and it's, it's fabulous to be, uh, to be back. <laughs> And I will let someone else get a word in. No, don't, you no, 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 no. <laughs> I agree with everything you say. Everything, <laughs> yeah. But you, you can see, you can, but you can see it. Um, you know, when you do a new show, you have to sort of get to know everybody, and it takes a couple of seasons. And da da da. Well, now when we get, to, we, you know, you just you just get in. Everybody knows what they have to do, and um, it's it's just about how funny we're going to be off camera. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's what basically. Well, it's uh, what keeps us going. Isn't it's it? what keeps it's you what, going. Yeah, that energy that is what you know is vital to. As the years have passed. I used to sit around with the guest stars because I, I don't watch you guys. <laughs> <laughs> sit around with the Marilyn. Yeah, that yeah. was funny. Yeah, and Elvis. Elvis. Yeah. And Elvis. <laughs> yeah. Oh much. my goodness! You've been a wonderful lord. <laughs> What do you think, has, having been on for 30 years now, what do you think the lasting appeal is of Red Wolf? Why is it still such a big thing? Because it's funny. I think it's, I mean, it is. No, no, no. I think no. Doug explained it recently, because we've often said, you know, for us it is the writing. So when we read those scripts the first time, it's the kind of nearest we get to the, the audience seeing it for the first time. So it's kind of very... You know, and they're amazing scripts, even though they will change so radically after we first read them, he'll yeah. rewrite them all. But, it, but and Doug has said, I think very generously, but it's the chemistry, so he couldn't write it. He can hear our voices when he's writing it, so he's therefore writing it very much with us in mind. And it's that chemistry that I don't know how you could create that. You know, you could, or like you'd set a project with some big American media corporation. We're going to create this. Great. And it just takes years, you know. That's, it's yeah. the kind, in a sense, it's that. And I think it's never been fashionable. That's always my felt. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah. about it. Red Dwarf's never been fashionable, yeah. but it's also never been unfashionable. Mm. So it's never, mm. yeah. it's not locked yes. into any era. So it it's not never like watching a focus group, either. Yeah, no, yeah. but it's not, it's not like watching an 80s sitcom, because it wasn't an 80s sitcom in the 80s. It yeah. didn't fit in with the no. 80s or the 90s mm. or the, you know, it's, it's and, and something that. And set in space like this does age less than, you know, or, or age better, you know, mm. the, than, um, yeah. you know, when you look at sort of the, the early series, it's not like looking at, say, Something like um, you know a, an Earthbound sitcom mm. back in the day, you know, which the British which, Empire, for example. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know? I think. Well, while we're while we're on that, <laughs> um, <laughs> while we're on that, young man. Yes. Well, well done. <laughs> well brought up. Yes. Well, I'm from Wingwood, um, so. Uh, are you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, that was like Reggie Perrin. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, look, uh, we, we, there's talk about some more of that, and it would be nice to see. It'd be interesting to see that in the 21st century yeah. with you know a different era mm -hmm. than those. But you're right. Yeah, that that Earthbound sitcom dates that, whereas Red Dwarf. You know, set in space. You know, uh, the actors have uh, aged a little bit. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. Just tiny bit. bit. Just no, tiny no. bit. Um, but, but it's, it's its own separate world. You know. They never thought we were actors either. That was a good thing. Well, we weren't really. We, no, we maybe weren't. Still I used to say, if only we'd have booked actors. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. we're all like from the comedy circuit and stuff. Mm. Like yeah. That. I was in. I was doing musical theatre, and there wasn't. You know any real lovies, as you know. Yeah. Say. Yeah. Special so, acts. Uh, yeah. Um, and I think. What, what what that gave was you, you had people that were used to walking into a nightclub or a bar and doing their act with complete strangers or, you know, you'd, you'd have to get to know all the people in there yeah. immediately. Yeah, yeah. There's no time to go in there and go, oh, what's this about? You yeah. know, because you're on stage. And, and so when we got into the room originally, um, it, it was just that immediate um, chemistry. Everyone will know this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Danny Brett, is. Hello. I, I was having. Brett, I'm in a press. <laughs> Danny, I'm in a press <laughs> conference, darling. Do you know, I was having breakfast. Yes, we're in the press conference. And Danny was there in the hotel. And Danny says, um, I'm just we'll going be, up to we'll the room. We'll be at lunch to afterwards. Get my key. Yeah. Mm. And off he went, leaving his phone on the table with all these people having breakfast yeah, um, like that. We're in, we're in the... Suddenly um, that bloody thing went <laughs> off. <laughs> the middle of breakfast. <laughs> we're in the Everyone South Gallery Everyone looks at me six. and I was going, so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Come up to the South Gallery, room six. <laughs> Didn't it go off during filming yeah. as well, you were saying? It did go off. Yeah, just... Well, well Danny was on the phone when we were shooting in front of the audience. We could hear it. He had his mic on. Yeah, I'll be over there later on tonight, guy, yeah. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> I didn't get that gig. <laughs> now I'm pissed off. Right, what do you want? That was, that was Tom Cruise that ringing. That was Tom Cruise ringing. Yeah. Get out of my closet. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, joke, a joke. Now you've had the, it's the most expensive episode of Red Dwarf you've ever done, where everyone gets to be dressed up as mechs. How much more sympathy do you now have for Crichton? Mm. And how funny was it watching everyone else have to go through wearing a full suit? I think he had the best fun because, you know, he's sitting there like, Lord, Lord, such, you know. <laughs> he's just looking at us suffering going, you see? No, you know, no, no. But he was very uh, supportive because obviously we, know, we, we felt his pain many years ago, you know, like there, are, there have been occasions, and Robert will tell you, where me and Craig were coming in to the hotel from a night out and Bobby's leaving to get his makeup done. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> in those days, how many hours did it take? Bob? Five, five, just five, five hours. hours. So there were occasions where we would cross each other in the hotel foyer, <laughs> and we're coming in like this, and Robert's going out there. Uh, <laughs> in Manchester. Yes, yeah, in Manchester. Mad I was Manchester. in bed. Yes, sensible. <laughs> Chris, Chris had been in bed since eight o'clock the evening before. <laughs> <laughs> half a pint of, uh, half a pint of Best Bitter. Best Bitter. <laughs> followed by a mug of Horlicks. A mug of Horlicks. <laughs> uh, and just a touch of Vinos to put it down, you know. You never know. Vinos. Uh, Vinos. 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 I have both. But yeah, there was, there was a, a moment as I got out of the lift and Craig and Dan were getting in and Craig's getting, come up to my room, Bobby, have a drink. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is like five in the morning. I go, I've got to go to work. A We've taxi. been to the Hacienda. Yeah. 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 But you know, Bob, Robert deserves yeah, much a massive fee over and above <laughs> his regular fee. Because we, we, we just used to go, I ain't never going to do that. 
you know, I mean, thirty-five would... times a series or something. You yeah, get I that? don't even know. It's, it's just a lot of eating mm-hmm. masks. Mm-hmm. And the first day, I, I I was ill at the end of the day. He was ill. Like, retired. Mate, I, I had the bends when I was putting. I, mean, I was doing the cast. You know, that is freaky. Yeah, the cast is. The cast is really the weird bit. because very tiring. It, it, you, you know, no one just breathes through their nose. You don't, you don't practice that. So all of a sudden, hey man, you can only breathe through your nose. How do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> And then, of course, you're already covered in... And then as it's dry and it's doing this on your head... It gets hotter. And then you get more and more claustrophobic as it goes along. You feel the lifting, the glue failing, and the thing lifting, and then... Apparently, when... Rivulets falling down, uh, you can't scratch. Apparently, when they... they, uh, uh, One of these guys did um, Johnny Depp, and he freaked out and got up and started running around with his head on. The guy, you know, they've got to calm you down. (laughs) That would have been... That would be fun to see it. But no, they were. They, oh, I was just going to say that they were making it, it. It was a lot tougher for them than it was for me. You know, the, the, I've done it for years. One, I've done it for years, and also I got used to it before I did any kind of serious filming. So oh. to jump straight in, put a mask on for the first time, and then do quite complicated scenes, really difficult. That is yeah. very tough. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish it on anyone ever. You know, maybe Trump. Especially <laughs> Trump, Trump and Farage. I'd wish it on them forever. That's about it. Yeah, what, what, they, should, what they should do is is make heads and then give them each other's head. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny. Talk sorry, there was heads. How was it? Would you like to do any um, crossovers? Like maybe with Death in Paradise or something like that? Just like any other. What? Red, of... Red Dwarf in Death in Paradise? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, death, we kind of did, yeah, death in space. Yeah, but we did kind of do that with with Craig and Coronation Street, which was quite yeah. bizarre. That was very odd. Yeah, that that it'd be funny to just you know find that the, 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 um, you know someone had someone had killed Hattie. Oh! And oh. And, oh. and and the four, the four suspects were these guys. You know. Oh. It weren't me. I wouldn't like to wear a Crichton mask in Guadeloupe. No, Guadeloupe oh, and, 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 hot, and it, prosthetics would do. Well, no, but the thing is, what they should do, they should land in, you know, in St. Marie. You don't have to say death in paradise. Yeah. If they just landed in St. Marie, oh, yeah. this is... A oh, yeah, I will song. come then, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, Hattie, that's the plan. But that's you get always... a free holiday, yeah. you say yes. Yeah. The mm. amount of times we've been he- hearing about the next series, though, they don't do it anymore, but they used to always say, so we're going to do the opening stuff, we're filming all that in Morocco. And we go, oh, yeah. wow, oh great. Morocco. And it, it, and it ends up in Clapham. It was always either <laughs> Clapham, a sewage works in Clapham, or a yeah, quarry. Real beach. Or a quarry in real, real beach. beach. Real beach. Or a paradise. quarry off the M25. That, that water pumping station. Yeah, a water pumping oh, station. Famous the water classic. pumping station. Yeah. Wow. We spent a lot of time you down know, the sewers. Do Everyone it. uses that place now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? Sunbury. Sunbury. Sunbury, yeah. Remember, John Pomp lit that. Yeah. I mean, beautifully. Think about it. He used to lit, he used to like Question of Sport, and then he lit that place up, and it was like a big movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was Dude. extraordinary. Top man. Patty, going back to the heads thing, how was it for you with all of your character just being a head? So how, how was the acting experience with that? It was my first acting experience anyway, so I was glad of it. I was glad I didn't have to walk and talk anywhere at the same time, really. <laughs> yeah. so I just, it was a just blo- black a polo gig. neck jumper. Yeah. It's a good gig. Against a black background and then a bit like this, sitting here like this, really. Well, most actors can't <laughs> walk and talk anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, I'm, you know, I haven't got... It's like it's like it's like opera, isn't it? They like they never have them walking. It's hard. They can't seem to put. A foot. So if you notice on operas, they're either sitting on a big rock, <laughs> and then he's leaning on the proscenium march, <laughs> and then it's sort of Pavarotti, you know, playing a young Romeo, you know, <laughs> forty stone, you know, and he's singing Romeo for goodness sake. That's supposed to look like Beckham. <laughs> So when do you start your promotional job for the <laughs> National Opera? <Yeah. laughs> uh, I thought, I did, we should do that, Red Dwarf the Opera. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, get a, question a musical quick. note here. I wondered if there any chance of any more big song and dance numbers in future Red Dwarf episodes? Right right who are you looking at here? Yeah. Right now. Right right now, now who yeah. are you looking at when you well, say that? Mostly at you, because... I was going to wonder, because you couldn't be talking about these three. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear? She can't walk and talk about singing and dance. Lot, there's not oh, a lot I of enthusiasm. Oh, yeah, done. <laughs> <laughs> there's not no, a lot no. of enthusiasm from Craig to do. I think yeah, no, no. The last time... the last time we did. Craig and I counting. You can... No, no, you can see them plotting my murder. Actually, <laughs> it's like you can see we're going to kill him tonight. Yeah. But you know, no. Um, well, I've done three already in the show. Yeah. That's not enough. 
<laughs> you did one but per I, episode I'm for Lady Marian. No, I tell you what, <laughs> I've already got the backing track for my next song. You don't believe me, do you? I believe you. Yeah, she does. <laughs> okay. I've I met you before, I believe you. Hold on a second. <laughs> so whilst we're waiting, in the past 30 years, you guys have had some absolutely stonking well, lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, you go, you go. Just, guys, what have your favourite lines been, respectively, over the years? Patty? Oh, it's, don't start with me. <laughs> the respected what? Your respected um, lines, like one of your favourite lines. Oh, you know what? Lines. You can take your Maybe. pick of mine. I've come to meet, mm. I've come to favorite. know you all oh, as people those. that I've met. I've come to regard you all over the years, over the over years. years right? <laughs> so I can't remember mine. Yeah. Um, no, in fact, forget that one. We've blown that one. Um, Line. It's my duty as a complete and utter bastard. Yeah. <laughs> there are quite a few, though. That's the great thing about Red Dwarf. You know, that's mm. why we keep going back to it because there's so much funny banter. You know. Uh, uh, oh. I'm, I'm fine, thank you, Susan. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, you were lying. I like that one. What about that trout one? I like oh, that. God, yeah, but that was the... Oh, yeah, I can only remember the word trout. <laughs> <laughs> I compared your mother to a bloated old piskeen. That's about all I can remember. That was a killer, that speech. That must have been Rimmer's mother. Yes, yes, that's right, because it was... Who's that old trout? So that was it, and then was you that go, that's injustice? my mother. God, it was in series three. I can't remember what episode. Yeah. Um, oh, it's with, with the, little, the rimmer upside down in the tree, little kid rimmer. Yeah. Like, was it the uh, thingy, tension sheet, was it that one? No, that was What's later. What's the one you did at that speech? You're a boo-boo. Oh, yes. Hey, pass boo -boo. boil on the side of pasta or something. <laughs> See, it's a more complicated question than you thought, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, that's the danger of asking us what our favourite lines is. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll half remember them. What we basically need is a fan to correct us. <laughs> I know, but during that we get all the ad-lib as well, which just makes it diamond. I would just like to say, uh, there's a big wibbly-wobbly thing and it's coming straight towards us. <laughs> was well, almost used on Thursday's episode. It was. In, it was. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. There's a, there's, we've had quite a few wibbly wobblies over the years and know. some swirly whirlies. So, you know, because we like to keep the science Return accurate. to the yeah. few yeah. favourites. <laughs> <laughs> in about an hour, Dan will play yeah, us this we're, music. We're no, 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 you keep here. going. I'm just trying to work out what the <laughs> hell is going on. I've got these headphones and... What was Norman's favourite line? That was, what, that oh. was April, May, June, July. August, August, December, and whatever eight, comes after yeah, that. Full eight, uh, was it? Uh, April, May, June, July, and August full. <laughs> Something like that. Something yeah. like that. Lister, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll line. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> let's get out there and twat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you, little fishy. Oh, Fresh yeah, metal yeah. version coming. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Hawk. Oh, it's Tony Hawk. I'm liking the heavy metal, Dan. <laughs> Next MGM, we want the full dance routine that goes with it. <laughs> That's diverse. <laughs> So there's certainly a basis there. Oh, don't you worry. Yeah, Crichton on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, don't you worry. Yeah. You can see it, can't you? Yeah, I can see it all now. Well, that be, maybe that should be the 30th anniversary special. Thing. We, oh, do we have to move on? Yeah, oh, we have on to move on. Sure. Oh. We need to go and rehearse. So, uh, there you go. Yeah, we've got to go and rehearse. Who rehearsed what? <laughs> rehearse that. Oh, don't worry, man. It's, I'm told, she thought I was joking. <laughs> don't you worry, baby. Thank you very much. For no, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. It was such a great panel to be on and I was so lucky to be able to ask so many questions as well. If you saw any of the Red Dwarf panels at Comic Con, if you're a fan of Red Dwarf, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and click the bell to get more videos from me and you can find Trista Bites on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you guys. Bye!